shocked Parisians and tourists face increased security one day after a series of attacks killed scores of people across the city. Armed troops patrol the airport and the Eiffel Tower, leaving this Canadian tourist at the iconic landmark uncertain of their effect. I feel like it's kind of a target, but at the same time, I feel like there's heightened awareness, heightened security. In a statement on its website, Islamic State claimed responsibility for the attacks, calling Paris the capital of prostitution and vice. It warned France remains on its top list of targets. Mes chers compatriotes. French President Francois Hollande, in an emotional address, called the assault an act of war, which he said was organized with help from inside the country. Sources close to the investigation said an Egyptian passport was found near the body of one of the suicide bombers and a Syrian passport found near the body of another. A Greek minister says that in October, that man passed through Greece, where scores of Middle Eastern migrants have been crossing into Europe. French media say one of the gunmen at the Paris concert hall was a French national with ties to Islamic militants. The bodies of their victims are still being recovered. President Hollande has declared three days of national mourning to remember the innocents who died.